good, John. Huh? That looks really good. Oh, thanks. I can't that believe it's done being painted. That cream is so pretty. I did pick a color. Oh, okay. good. For the trim and for the bookcases. Mm hmm. And, well, that's going to be really nice. And I picked one for the ceiling in the same palette. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Moving forward here. So. Can I check out my sweatshirt? Do you realize how long I think this? No, for, forever? Yeah, since I was like 19. Yeah. It's so old. But I'm going to change and get my costume on because mm -hmm. we are going to uh, film for making the Laura Ingalls wedding. Right. Okay. And I put my garnet on. I took my rings off, put my garnet on. Did Laura have a garnet? This is almost, it's so similar to her wedding ring. It's really? freaky. My, my, my mom got this when I was a child oh. um, at an antique store. I remember the day she got it. Huh. So, yeah, it's old. It's not very secure. You can hear it. I can't shaking it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to make a cake. Okay. Can't so, wait to eat it. Are you almost done sanding? I'm almost done after cat again. Okay, because the mic will pick up this in. Okay, I won't say I'm done saying it. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Oops. You look great. Look it, I found it. I found my can can, or my underskirt. This is from when I made that amazing uh, Carolina Herrera inspired um, skirt for Christmas, like right after Julian was born. Rats. And this is the skirt I wore underneath to poof it out. You what like in the you wedding dress? No. There we go. Yay! Okay. All right, shall I get rid of this? Okay. Here's your butt again. Why does your butt always end up on camera? Doing the elbow with your butt. I'm putting this lace on top of the boxes. Oh, yeah, so the cold air doesn't fall in the, uh, the shelves of the thingies over here. That's what I'm doing. Hopefully. Take the window off. So. Really? That's all I'm going to Ladies plastic. Deconstructing Joel, it's harder than it looks. Oh, yes it is. It's way harder than it looks. That afternoon, the finished black cashmere was carefully pressed and then Ma made a big white cake. Laura helped her by beating the egg whites on a platter with a fork until Ma said they were stiff enough. My arm is stiffer, Laura ruefully laughed, rubbing her aching right arm. This cake must be just right, Ma insisted. If you can't have a wedding party, at least you shall have a wedding dinner at home and a wedding cake. That's from These Happy Golden Years, my favorite book in the Little House series. Aside from Farmer Boy, I do love Farmer Boy. But I think These Happy Golden Years is such a beautiful culmination of Laura Ingalls' story to that point. It shows the family unit intact. We have a loving father and mother. We have a young girl ready to leave home to get married to a fine man. Everyone shows such affection. They have all these gathered memories from years past that they're cherishing while they move forward. It's just such a beautiful picture of the family unit. I cry every time I read it. Juliet has requested to have a Laura Ingalls themed birthday party. So we are going to make Laura Ingalls' wedding cake for her cake. We have a darling party planned. We're gonna make button lamps. We are going to make the little molasses curly Q cookies, right? Because it's January and we have plenty of snow here in our little house in the big woods of Wisconsin. We're going to learn to walk with a book on our head. It's gonna be a great party. But first we need to make a cake. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Here's what you're gonna need. About your one cup plus one teaspoon for pans. Sugar, two cups, baking soda, half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon, almond extract, half a teaspoon, lemon extract, half a teaspoon, milk, 
one one third cups egg whites ten salt a pinch white flour four cups so I'll unbleach it all for this cream of tartar one teaspoon Juliet I have a little surprise before we move forward this so I know we have milk we have our carton of milk from Costco but this pitcher was your great grandmother's no my great grandmother's your great great grandmother's and I thought it would be fun to use a couple of her things so this, this is such a family heavy story the Laura Ingalls story is so much about family I thought it'd be fun to use some of great grandma's things for our measuring and she is not really from Laura Ingalls time maybe about 25 years later but I thought it would still be special to to use some things. Okay, at least one hour before starting, set out all the ingredients. So we did that, good job. In a large bowl, cream the butter with a wooden spoon until fluffy. So we need to get a wooden spoon and, oh, I need to get my apron on. I'm gonna wreck my fabulous costume. Let mama find her apron and we'll get going, find a wooden spoon and um, we will cream the butter. Normally we would do this in our mixer and it's much faster and easier, but we're gonna try to, okay. Good, we're in agreement that we're gonna go old school. Good job, okay. Let me get my apron and we'll get going. Mom, can I use my spoon Grandma got me with my little baking kit? Yeah. Okay, so, got a big bowl. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be... Would you like a turn? Sure, thanks. Could you hold the bowl still? Yeah. I think it's starting to get fluffy. I think that counts as fluffy. So now we add the sugar. So pour that in. Again. With the mixer, this takes two minutes, but this is gonna be a bit of work to get this all creamed together. Juliet, now you wanna add the baking soda. That's your little dish right here. So that is how much, sweetie? Uh, a half a teaspoon of baking soda to the milk. You can dump it in, yeah. And we're going to add our almond extract, and we don't have lemon extract, but of course we have lemon essential oil, which I know Laura probably never heard of, but. There we go, there you go. So that one you need a half a teaspoon. Do you remember which one that is? It is that guy right there. Perfect. So why don't you put this underneath? There you go. It smells so good, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, I love almond extract. That smells delicious. And lemon extract, a half a teaspoon, but let's just do like, it's for two layer cake. Five drops of lemon oil. I love lemon, so I'm, not, I'm the wrong person to ask. Good job.
feet until they are too stiff to slip by tracing circles in the air. Oh my goodness. My forearm is on fire. Oh my goodness. No, you don't need to help It's not good. I'll tell you what. You read these books and see how much fortitude these people have. They had so much fortitude. Oh, I'm just gonna move to the middle of nowhere and dig a well, me and my trusty candle. You know, yeah, all right? Or I'm gonna whip 10 egg whites with a fork. Cause I've got nothing better to do. And I didn't really need that forearm muscle anyways. Oh, I'm just gonna build a house in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I'm just gonna stack it. I'm just gonna stack a chimney, you know? Or build a whatnot for my shepherdess. Hey, babe, I got you something. Hey. Oh. I got you something, but I got you something too. I got a beer glass. The capital for every island. Is that from Washington Island? Yeah, Washington Island. Oh, that's cool. Here's your name. Okay, I'm risking egg whites with a fork. Ten egg whites with a fork. I'm bleeding. What is this? <gasps> no, you didn't! Yeah, I did. Is this from the thrift? Thrift stuff. Oh my gosh, look at it! What's it called again? It's called a cameo. That's gonna yeah, be yeah. perfect. Can I, see? I can't believe they have one. Can I see? Yep, what? they have one. It's just, it's perfect. <gasps> okay, I think I got it. I don't know quite how to. Probably not the. Let's see, what can we do with this little belt? That was so sweet of him. There. Yay. Okay. Oh my goodness gracious. You should start sifting, Juliet. Oh, I'm already. Okay. <laughs> So we just added the butter mixture to the flour mixture, like a little at a time, alternating the egg whites. And now we're gonna finish, this is called folding. It smells so good. I'm tired, how about you? My arms are tired.
Okay. Good job. Good job. Good job. Brother Blue. Okay. Shall we sing? Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, to you. Happy birthday dear Juliet. Happy birthday to you. Oh, good job. I'm just trying to figure out this transition of all this. I, mean, uh, I don't know. This will sit on here like this. Uh -huh. This is going to get cut out and come over this way, right? Yeah. Cover whatever comes down this way. Because it's going to go like, like that. Hmm. So if you grab me that scrap. The scrap? Yeah. Well, I think what you'd want to do is you'd want... It's too long. Okay, about the books that just fell? Oh, no, At least it no. wasn't glass. Anything else? bookshelves because my concern is I really don't want I love the blue and I have a lot of it in the kitchen and being where we live in Door County it's very nautical and with the creamy shiplap and then this beautiful almost colonial blue I don't want it to look nautical so I'm using Brie Wax Liming Wax uh, Min Wax Finishing Paste and then a little sample of um, some groovy stain and I'm just really distressing these bookcases and this window, deep window sill to look like the two doors that are in my kitchen that will eventually be the doors to built-ins. And I love this liming wax because it falls into the nooks and crannies of the wood. And then I can take the brown over the top of it and distress it even further. And I think tomorrow in the daylight, you'll really be able to see the progress, but it's a really, really good match for the kitchen. The trick with this wax is just a terry cloth towel and to keep your lines straight so you don't have wavy lines in the grain of the wood. But this is uh, a technique that I've used for years and um, it's subtle. It's not, you know, like obnoxiously chippy. 
but it just gives a depth to your to your paint. And I plan on using it in a lot of other areas around the house. I actually wondered if I still had it. Can't have more. <laughs> that old black magic. You know? Just to to take a piece of furniture. Oh shit! I mean, liking the stuff I painted. And knock it down. That's what she meant. We could be able to fix that. That might be a little much. Mm. Mm. You know, like just to hit it with the wire brush, take mm -hmm. a little wax to it. Oh, I love it. There's a dot, there's a dot. See this dot right there? It has that dot. It's that piece. And it's gone. Well, we're missing two. So we're obviously missing this piece and something else. Mom, can I try it? Yeah, you can. Take that brush flat. Right on the edge. Good job. Just paint his face. It is bad. Judge, come here. I'll get it off. He doesn't trust me. So to bring it all home after that beautiful tirade, mm. of course, yeah, it was good. I'm gonna finish styling these shelves, but to bring it home with the birthday that we just celebrated mm -hmm. and the heroine that the girls and I kind of worship. This is um, Tennyson's Complete Works, mm. and I found this on our bookshelves with all our many many books. And if you look at it with the red lines and the descriptions and the Lotus Eaters. This is the book that Laura Ingalls describes finding. Ma had hidden it and it was a Christmas present for her and she read a few lines of it and then was ridden with guilt and put it back and had to wait till Christmas. But this- It's amazing. This yeah. is it. It's 1877. Wow. Which I think, I, what was she born? 1867? She had, I think, been about 10 years old when Ma gave her that gift, so it could be from the same printing. Mm. But oh, it's amazing. this is a treasure and it goes right along with our Laura obsession and everything we just experienced this month as a family. Just paying homage to Juliet and mm -hmm. to this woman that we love so much. And That's great. this was on our stash. With all our old books. It's gonna look good on my shelf. On your shelf on with shelf. your blue and your vision. That's when you pulled into that thrift shop and saw those built-ins, when you saw those built-ins leaning against that thrift shop for $18, you said, now we could cut into the, uh, into the envelope. <laughs> That's what I said. That's right. And I said, I wanna create. And I almost cried that day. So this is my vision come to life, to fruition, as you will. I love so, you, Jerry. So, 
Jerry. Springer? I'm joking. Jerry. Jerry Maguire. Jerry Maguire. Jerry Maguire. Jerry Maguire. That's an inside joke, but that shouldn't even go on YouTube. Oh, let's take it off. Okay. Alright, so Tennyson's going on the shelf. I'm going to style the rest of the shelves, and uh, it's onward and upward to faux beams. Third story attic bedrooms. Nap time, coffee, something like that. Yeah, it takes some coffee. Yeah, it'll make a coffee. So, is that where that's going to go? Yep. Alright, well, let's get some high five. Good job on this project. Good job. Correct. This looks good. I did this all by myself. And I want you ladies to know that I am the motivational inspiration for all this crap that we do around here. Okay? That's so, what they all think. from the green to the blue to the brown, it's all Joel all the time. And if you're thinking, boy, he looks pretty good. I just finished up on my juice fast. And I feel like crap. <laughs> so, this is good because of me. And then on a serious note, can I go on? Let me, let me banter. Banter, I want to banter. I would like to say that, uh, um, my wife cracking the whip here. We got this done. It only took 30 minutes to get this whole job done. So, I mean, you know, you think they do it quick on HGTV, you should see us. And we got this in the whole, we got, it's done. So that the reason I get to do this is because she actually makes the money and I stay home and do what she tells me to do. It's not a bad life. So, and I would encourage all the men out there watching, go get you one. <laughs> Successful wife. Like I got, and uh, you can go home and stay home and do projects like this all the time. So, it's going to work. I think we have two subscribers left right now. Well, they're probably men. So, you know, what are we gonna do? I, I scored, you know, it's been 23 years of wedded bliss. So, except for the other day when I threw coffee at you. Besides that day, well, and I don't even have that shirt on right now. I took it off for this video.